other AI video generators have really struggled with this image right here. I've been waiting to get access to this for a while, and now it's finally here. Adobe Firefly AI video. Okay, wow. This did a phenomenal job. AI video is the current rave right now, and with so many other great options in the AI world today, can Adobe Firefly's AI video stack up to the competition? Well, today we're about to find out, but I will tell you for the few times I've used this so far, I've been highly impressed with it, and I think you will too. And of course, like many of my videos, I'll also have an incredible prompt generator you'll definitely want to use specifically for AI video. Just copy and paste the prompt and watch the magic happen. Okay, so let's first take a look at Adobe Firefly's AI video options. And then after that, we're gonna try this prompt generator to create some amazing looking AI videos. And for that, we're here right now in my unique keywords database. And now this database is gonna contain amazing prompts for not only unique keywords and styles, but also important camera and lenses that you would definitely wanna use, photographer and director references to get very unique and different looking images. And then of course, course, tons of AI video prompts, but my favorite and the one that I'll be sharing today are going to be these amazing prompt generators specifically for AI video. Get these incredible prompt databases by clicking the links in the description. So here's what we'll do. First, I'm going to come in here and then just copy and paste some of these already created AI video prompts. We'll use these quick video prompts just to test Firefly's capabilities. And then from there, we're going to come over here and actually get this prompt prompt generator. The one I'm sharing today is this one right here. It's called Kinema, the AI video prompt engineer, prompt adherence specialist, okay? This is going to be the big one that we're going to copy and paste. And so for the video prompts, these are ready to go. We're going to go ahead and paste these in Adobe Firefly. And then for the prompt generator, we'll come in here and copy this whole entire prompt and then paste it into any LLM of our choice. And by the way, all these prompts I'm sharing today, or in any video for that matter, are always available via the links in the description, 100% completely free for anybody to use. So now here we are in Firefly. Now right away, you'll be greeted with the image option. Go ahead and now select video. Now simply just paste in any sort of prompt. Okay, so we're first going to start with this one right here. This is going to be a candy land adventure. We should get something that mimics this right here. Now we're going to head into Firefly and simply paste it in. Now if you notice, once I pasted it in, it only looks like it just got just four words right here, but it really didn't. You can see as I start to go to the left, the whole entire prompt is in here. Go ahead and now select generate. And now once you do, you can see the whole entire prompt down here at the bottom. Just right off the bat, I could tell you right away, I kind of like the way that this is already set up. So on the left-hand side are gonna be our general settings. We have the model Firefly video in beta, and then we have our aspect ratios. Right now there are just two options. And then we have the defaulted frames per second. As we go down to the camera, we have shot size. Right now it's on none, but we have a few options that we could select. And then below that, some very helpful motion options. Over here, if I just hover over each example, it actually starts to move. And in real time, you can see what sort of movement that your videos are gonna look like. But one other thing I wanna show you, down in the bottom left, we also have the ability to add frames, okay? Upload an image for your first frame and add a prompt to generate new video frames. You can also upload an image for your last frame to end the video. Now with my image uploaded. There it is, available to use, and we'll generate this one. But first, let's see how good of a job this did. And remember, this one right here, we didn't use a reference image. Wow, that is impressive. Let's make this a lot larger. Look at this again. This is very impressive. Very, very good and realistic, especially that explosion. Okay. Now, same thing. Let's try it with a start frame. And very quickly, let me just remind you of the prices right here. We're going to have Adobe Firefly standard. This is going to be $9.99 a month. And then you can go with Firefly Pro, which will be $29.99 a month. But now it looks like our Candyland video is done where we utilize the image as a reference. Let's go and see how good of a job that did. And then we're going to compare it to this one that I made in Kling AI. And now here we have this one right here. And again, 
extremely impressed with these results. And that's just going with just the defaulted options. Now moving forward, let's go ahead and try this amazing prompt generator. Now, as a quick reminder, if you like these prompt databases, these databases are also available via the links in the description. So here is the one we're gonna use today, okay? All you have to do is come in here and copy the whole entire thing. Now, you don't put prompt generators in these AI tools. They first need to go into tools like ChatGPT. So with ChatGPT opened up and a brand new chat go ahead and paste the whole entire thing in and now let's go ahead and compare the two and let's go ahead and paste this in to deep seek as well now back in chat gpt okay here's my full prompt right here and as we scroll down it says tell me what kind of video do you want to create so let's just say action scene okay you can be as generic and bland as you want because again we're going to allow chat gpt to guide us so instantly it becomes assertive it gives us a lot of different options to choose from what kind of scene where does it take place? What's the tone? Is it part of a larger story? Perfect. So just go ahead and provide your details. Car chase. We're going to say uh, futuristic city. Let's go with the tone. We're going to go with realistic. And is it a part of a larger story? Let's go with the climax. It's going to go ahead and give us the overview, the length. And then last but not least, it's going to give us the full prompt at the very end. But one thing I really like about this is that now we have a lot of other details that we may not have known about, and now we could save these important keywords and use them for future videos. Look at all this information it's going to give us. That's why I love this prompt generator. Lots of information. The important thing is save it. For example, 360 spin shot, that could be a great adjective or a description to use in a future video. And then it gives us the step-by-step -step breakdown of the scene, okay? Aerial drone shot of a cyberpunk cityscape, that might be great for a video. So for an example, if I like that, I'm gonna go ahead and copy just this one version of the sentence, go back over here into Firefly, paste this in, okay, simply, aerial drone shot of a cyberpunk cityscape. Now on the left-hand side, I will actually select aerial shot just like that, okay? Now I can utilize these options. Very simple prompt. Now let's go ahead and generate this one. Okay, so now back in chat GPT, after we get all of the fine details, okay? Now it's like a 50-50 shot this happens. So it just gave me a lot of huge details. So if this happens to you as well, what you wanna say at the very end is this. Based on the information you provided me, now create a prompt in one paragraph. So basically what it's gonna do is take all of these bulleted points and then even your subject, and now just generate and craft a simpler prompt for you in just one big paragraph style. You see right here, this is exactly what it's doing right here, okay? So sometimes it will give you this and then other times you may have to ask the question okay so i'm gonna go ahead and copy this here this already looks like a good prompt to begin with okay so let's go back to firefly this other one is still generating so we'll come back to this in a second but first remember we did use deep seek as well with this prompt let's look at the comparison in deep seek exact same prompt scrolling down now a deep thought right here. Now, the thing I like about this one is it also gives me a good amount of questions that I can answer. Scrolling down, more options, camera movements. And now what Deep Seek did down here at the very bottom was it automatically just gave me an example prompt I could already use. However, now it says your turn, describe your video concept in a few words. All right, so I went ahead and gave it just a very basic and simple one sentence version. POV shot, skydiving out of an airplane. Let's see what Deep Think can provide for us here. Now, while Deep Think is thinking, let's go back over to ChatGPT. We're going to also copy this longer prompt like this and go to Firefly and paste this one in down below. But first, let's take a look at our aerial shot of this cyberpunk city. And again, wow, impressed with this level of realism. Okay, so while this is thinking, there is one more thing I definitely want to do. I want to use one more image for reference and really turn the heat up and see how good of a job it can actually do. So the first thing I want to do is actually find an image. Now, I have some pretty good video game style ones that may do well. Now, I know for a fact other AI video generators have really struggled with this image right here, but Firefly has shown me that it's very impressive. So I'm going to go ahead and download this one. We're going to try this one. Okay. All the others have definitely struggled with this. And I will also come in here and copy the prompt. Okay. And it does look like it did our Sonic the Hedgehog one. Let's go ahead and see how good it did. Okay. Wow. This 
did a phenomenal job. Incredible. Just to show you the difference, I am going to head over to Kling just to show you that it did not do a good job with this specific prompt and the actual image. And here it is over on the right hand side. Look at this one. It starts off good. But look, this is what I ended up with with Kling. Everything's exactly the same. Same prompt, same image. So if I had to choose, I'm definitely going to give the edge to definitely Adobe Firefly. Other AI tools have been unsuccessful so far with that one. Okay, now this one is done and let's see how good it did. Wow, impressive again. This did a phenomenal job. I mean, I've been very impressed with Adobe Firefly video. Okay, so there you have it. Is this going to be one of the best AI video tools out there? I think after seeing what I saw today, it may just be in the top three. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think. And if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching.